Today, I am going to show you the proper way to protect your hair at night. Just kidding! <laughs> I'm going to show you 10 ways to protect your hair at night because there is no right or wrong way. It is simply about preference. In this video, you're probably going to see and hear some things that you're already familiar with, and you're also going to see some twists to things that you've heard of, and maybe even some things that you never knew to try. And I'm gonna tell you which ones are my favorite and why for long and short hair. And hopefully by the end of this video, if you've had any confusion on what would work best or need additional tips to make something work, we will solve that for you. Before we jump into all of these methods, I wanna give credit where credit is due. Almost all of these techniques came from Black Women in the Natural Hair Movement, were taught to us by them, and those that weren't were developed or expanded on off of the original styles. Black women especially and the natural hair movement have paved the way in almost, if not all, aspects of curly hair and protecting curls at night is no exception. Welcome back, and if it's your first time here, my name is Janelle, we do all things curly and then some, and let's get to it. If you do nothing else <laughs> recommended in the rest of this video, at least get yourself a satin or silk pillowcase. Silk if you like to spend that money, satin if you don't. <laughs> Cotton fabrics are a little bit rougher and they actually grab onto the hair. So as your hair gl glides across your cotton pillowcase at night, it's getting tangled, it's sucking up moisture, it's causing damage, etc. Where if you have a nice satin or silk, your hair just glides. It's not pulling any strands off, it's not splitting any ends, it's just loving you. <laughs> If you don't have one already, I have some added to my Amazon shop and that will be linked down in the description. Pineappling. Need a hair tie, satin or silk scrunchie. I like these little phone cord things. They're wonderful. All you need to do to pineapple, flip, gather your hair. You wanna be up as much here as possible, up towards your forehead. and then put it on. A hack for pineappling, if your hair is long like mine and you don't want it in your face, grab a little clip, take this, wrap it around, kind of like a top bun, and clip it. And there you go, the half pineapple. When my hair was short, this was like my most often go-to. My bottom layer was about shoulder length. It wasn't quite long enough to make it up to the pineapple without falling. And I wanted these hairs protected so that they could grow out. So I would just half it, literally half of my head, and then pineapple. I also still sometimes do this when my hair is long, it's depending my mood, and same thing. You can just wrap this around and clip it. I was still sleeping on a satin pillowcase, so my hair was generally protected, and it gave the hairs at the nape of my neck that are prone to breakage a chance to kind of be like protected by hair that's a little bit stronger, thicker, and tends to see a little bit less action, and they grew out. This is my go-to for a very long time. Continuing with the pineapple theme, we have the unicorn pineapple. <laughs> it's what I always called it. I don't know if there's an official name. So in this case, this also works really good for short hair, especially if you can't get enough to a pineapple. You're going to leave your top half pineapple, and then you're going to pineapple the back. And I would like to bring mine up Is she cute? Now in both cases, you have a, a pineapple back here for your back layers, and you have one up top for your top layers. I always brought this pineapple higher, but you can also bring it low to hold them all in place or wherever is comfortable for you to sleep. Now for some Medusa clipping. This was another one of my favorites when I had short hair, especially when my hair was really short because it was so easy to customize. I'm gonna show you how to do it now, but if you wanna see a full tutorial on my hair when it was actually shorter, I will link that up here. What you're gonna need is about four or five or more, just depends on your hair, of these little clips. Again, Amazon or literally the dollar store. 
We are going to be creating a pineapple, but we're going to be taking sections of the hair and individually clipping those sections forward. Let me show you. So I always started with the front section. And what I would do is I would grab it a little bit back like this, bend it forward in the direction that it's curling. You can see that the curl is starting to go forward. So I would bend it forward in that direction with a slight twist and then I would clip. Come to this side, bring it forward, and clip. Part the back and do the same thing. I typically would take my fingers in at the root a little bit and direct the hair up, and then we clip. A section, bring it up, and clip. So you should be able to see one, two, three, four clips here. When my hair was short, my little pineapple that I've created essentially would end right here. So there was no point in like trying to clip it out of my face. But what I would do is I would bring the hair together from all the sections and then do one final clip here just to keep it in alignment. And I sometimes still do this, but now if I do it, I do the same thing as with the pineapple. I just loop my hair around give it a little bun shape, and then clip it at the top. The thing that I love about these clips is you literally can control where you put them, and I can never feel them when I'm sleeping, and I never get a headache in this style when I wake up the next morning. Next up is the satin or silk scarf. Or in my case, you accidentally washed and dried yours and ruined it, so you had to run to the dollar store to get a cotton bandana. Don't use this. <laughs> I'm just using it for demonstration purposes today. I'm not a personal fan of the scarf. I've tried it so many times. It just doesn't seem to stay on my head, but it works for some. So I'm gonna show you. I'm gonna take one corner, gonna fold it. Then we're going to flip our hair over, bring the folded part at your neck. I like to push this hair forward, as far forward as possible. Then we're going to tie it, bring it up over the ears. I don't like anything on my ears. And then you have a couple options here. You can just leave your hair out. You're sleeping on your satin pillowcase. You've got protection. You're golden. You can bring this forward and just tuck this in, leave the hair out, or you can gently tuck the hair in completely you tuck i can't tell what i'm doing in the camera i'm coming close <laughs> okay then i like to retie the tuck here's the tuck so i just wrap it with one of these and then tie them one more time like i said not my favorite it's plenty of people's favorite but i would still do it in an emergency <laughs> next up is the tube <laughs> This one that I have, I have, it is from Woven Royal, and I love, because it is silk lined. So let me show you. Simply pull it down over your head, pull your hair out. So we're gonna flip, pull the tube over, let the hair fall in, give it a little push, and then you can leave this open if you want. You can tighten it, which I normally do. And then to secure it even further, which a lot of people do, and it's actually designed to do, is make a bun. Takes two seconds, no fuss. And next we have the bonnet. Some people's favorite. For a long time, I hated it. <laughs> and I'll tell you why in a second. I actually turned mine inside out because I want the smoother side closer to my hair. So with the bonnet, flip, tuck the hair in, <laughs> and you're ready for bed. This works wonderfully for a lot of people. It doesn't for me, and I hated it for a very long time. It didn't matter what I did, long or short hair, it completely flattened out my crown. I do have very fine curls, and I just could never get my crown back after letting it down. But, 
I figured out a trick. <laughs> I had previously sworn off bonnets when my hair was shorter, but now that my hair is getting longer, I've been playing with new things and I figured out how to make it work. And now it's probably my favorite way to sleep at night. Literally perfect hair in the morning, borderline looks like wash day. All you need is some little clippies. I feel like these little clippies are lifesavers. <laughs> I use three and here's what I do. I flip over completely. I clip in three sections at the top of my head and I really make sure to grab these ones at my crown and make sure they're directed forward. And then we bonnet. Light it right over the top, drop those curls in there. And then I'm golden and I go to sleep on my satin pillowcase and then I wake up with hair that is moisturized almost just intact as it was on wash day and i just need to give it a little fluff a couple minutes to settle no flat crown no indentations nothing sometimes a little bit more volume <laughs> i just showed you 10 ways that you can protect your wavy curly or coily hair at night. If you liked or learned something from this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if it was your first time here, my name is Janelle. We do all things curly and then some. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet, what are you waiting for? <laughs> Go slam that subscribe button, hit that bell while you're at it to turn on post notifications so you do not miss a thing. And I will see you next time. Bye. So buckle up and let's get going. <laughs> Just kidding. That was ridiculous, I'm sorry. <laughs>